Right now, the Panhandle and the Big Ben are expected, of course, to get the worst of the storm, as Richard mentioned, but St. Augustine could also be impacted. News for Jack's reporter Jennifer Reddy live in St. Augustine this morning. The city is warning people about high winds and potential flooding because of what's called king tides. That's right, Bruce. The tropical storm is expected to bring rain to our area around the same time that the king tides are expected to peak, making areas like St. Augustine more vulnerable to flooding. As Tropical Storm Michael makes its way towards the Panhandle, St. Augustine City officials are urging people to be prepared. The highest tide of the year, called the King Tide, is expected to peak on Tuesday and can cause some flooding at the beaches and in low-lying areas. St. Augustine City officials say the King Tide paired with the rainfall may cause flooding because the water won't drain quickly. Residents are reminded to never drive through floodwaters. Meanwhile, St. John's County Emergency Management says Tropical Storm Michael may bring strong winds and possible power outages to the area. They're urging residents to be prepared just in case, making sure cars are filled with gas and hurricane supply kits are stocked. The city does have a report form on its website where people can go and report any flooding that they do have in their area. There is a place for pictures as well and a place to put a description of the flooding. We have a link to that on our website, newsforjacks.com. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, The Local Station.